Growing up, I loved math and science. Um, I liked making paper airplanes and balsa wood gliders. At one point, I even made a homemade hang glider. So when the opportunity came uh, in college to join the military and become a pilot there, it was a, a jump at the opportunity. Started out in the military flying cargo airplanes in the C-17 Globemaster. Uh, I flew for an airline, flew four different airplanes there, the 727, uh, the DC-10, DC-9, and 757. At Boeing, I've flown the 737, 747, uh, 777, and 787. Obviously, the 777 is my favorite, I would say. We gather data for a specific reason, to validate the design or show compliance, show the airplane's safe. When we do that, we can also apply that to the next airplane. For example, if you look back at the 787 testing, like the flight control laws developed for the 787 have been uh, implemented on the 777-9, tuned to this body size, and uh, makes the next generation a great airplane. I would say crosswind testing is enjoyable because we're exercising the airplane and in the environment that our operators are going to be using it in, and we're exercising it beyond the limits that they will be applying for themselves. Uh, so from early on in a development program, we brought them in for design decisions. They're essential to our human factors uh, certification. I think passengers will find it a really nice experience at the lower cabin altitude, the smooth ride with the flight control laws. I think pilots will love it. Uh, handling qualities are really nice. Even though I've been flying this airplane for years, I'm still surprised at how big it is. I come out and it's just a huge airplane. It doesn't handle like a huge airplane. It's really nimble but it is a big airplane, which is impressive.